I, I mean, really. I, I mean, really. What can I possibly say? I started out this game pissed off. Pissed. Pissed. Like almost punching my TV pissed. And then it just got embarrassing as the Phillies lose 15-1 to to the Nats to lose a series. And, of course, this is way more painful because of what happened last night and the blown opportunity and letting them score nine unanswered runs. Of course, that's why it's more painful. But what I just saw today was extremely disappointed and super frustrating. And it starts with one man, and that's Breakout Pavetta. That's all I've heard. All I've heard all summer long. Breakout Pavetta. Breakout Pavetta. And that concerned me. There was way too much hype involved. Way too much hype. Why would I trust all these people saying that he's just going to be this stud? I knew it couldn't be true as he went out there and he was the issue in the beginning. That set the tone. Nick Pavetta set the tone for the garbage baseball game that was just played. Now, I know that this offense had three hits on someone like Hellickson. I get that. That should never, ever happen. But the tone was set due to Nick Pavetta on the bump who was horrendous tonight. In the first inning, 39 pitches, three singles on two strike counts. He walks in the batter. Oh, it's just, it was so pathetic what Nick Pavetta was on the mound today. And his stat line was uh, three and two thirds, seven hits, seven earned runs, three walks, six strikeouts, 94 pitches. This is your number two guy. This is your number two pitcher. And he can't even get you through four innings. I mean, it's embarrassing and it's really pathetic. It really is. On top of that, there was a bases juice double that cleared all the bases involved with him out there as well. And, and it, it was really just so terrible it's almost so hard to to talk about it was so hard to watch but it was so hard to sit there and 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 think to myself well this is my job I have to do this I have to watch this is part of my gig this is what I do embarrassing and not just Nick Pavetta because it carried through the entire pitching staff how about Nicasio two innings four hits two earned runs and a walk Ramos I didn't think we did uh, two days in a row I thought he should have been unavailable but I guess well when it's guys who suck we don't really care two-thirds of an inning two hits three earned runs two walks 36 pitches in his two-thirds of an inning uh, Alvarez he goes one and two-thirds he allowed two hits Aaron Altair he might have been the best one he might have been the best pitcher today Oh, it sucks when you have position players out there. Oh, that's real cute. It's real funny. Everyone smile. And Gabe Kapler is standing on the steps smiling and laughing when Aaron Altair is throwing 90, striking guys out and throwing curveballs. It, it, real cute. Real cute. I love to watch Aaron Altair pitch. It's a joke. It's a joke. And I know that baseball's a long season and things like this happen. I get all that. But it's it's frustrating to watch as we lose two games in a row now. That realistically should have never been to this extent. I'm okay with losing baseball games. What happened tonight, though? Just such a ridiculous joke. It really was. I can't even tell you anything positive. Well, hey, yeah, I'll give you one. I'll give you one. Cesar Hernandez. Cesar Hernandez. Two of our three hits. How about it? How about it? Offensively for them, 17 hits. How about Eaton? Three of four, three runs. How about Dozier? Three of six, a guy who's batting under 200. Rendon, two of four, two runs, three RBIs. I watched the whole thing. I did. No, uh, uh, hockey's on now, playoff hockey, but I had the game on. I had the multiple screens, and I sat there, and I just watched. Because I waited. I wanted to see. Would we get anything across the board? Well, we did. It took us Rosenthal, the worst relief pitcher in the Major League Baseball, to walk a few guys, and then we, we ended up getting a run in. That's what it took. That's what it took. The worst MLB reliever to get a one run across the board. I'm actually happy that we have an off day. Happy? Off day, we come back, and we attack Miami. We need this rest day, mentally, to figure it the hell out. Because these last two games, from what, the, the sixth inning on, from yesterday's tilt against the Nats, embarrassing performance. Just it, terrible. Terrible. 
We had a chance in the fifth inning with bases juiced. Gene Segura up, ground out. And listen, I was just curious to see if we'd be able to attack any type of offense. And the entire game changed when it's a blowout. The approach to the plate offensively. The entire mentality of the baseball game is different when you have your starting pitcher fumble like that. And... If, if it was Eflin who started out his first two games the way he did and then threw up a stinker like Pavetta did, you sit back and you say, okay, that's okay, that's allowed, that happens. But with Nick Pavetta and the short leash that he's on and the number two that he is and the fact that this pitching staff as a whole hasn't been able to get going, there's a lot more pressure involved and specifically on him. He can't have this type of outing. He's not allowed to have this type of outing after what we've already seen from him. It's unacceptable. Unacceptable. Gabe Kapler held him accountable after the game. Even he did hold himself accountable after the game and said this game, even threw, he even threw some curses out there, he said this game will drive you crazy. I will be better my next time. I will be better my next outing. Okay, I, I sure hope so. I really do. I sure hope so. We were pathetic in every aspect of the baseball game, though. Obviously, pitching, hitting was a joke with only three hits, and sloppy. We had two errors on the day. There was nothing. The bullpen was a joke. The starting pitching was a joke. Everything was a mess today out there on the baseball diamond, and I feel bad for people who actually spent their money and went to this baseball game. When it was 14 nothing, I knew my buddy was there. Dude, are you still in the building? Send me a picture. Still in the building. Are you kidding me? I would have been long gone. Hell, I'm the idiot who left the stadium series game early, but I definitely would not have stayed for that game. I don't know what to tell you. I'll tell you this, though. Look at teams who go to the playoffs. Look at teams who, you know, make runs in October. How many losses do they have on the year? Right? 70-ish. Realistically, that's that's a number that you should say. 70-ish for playoff teams in baseball. And my job is to come down here after every Phillies game and talk about it and rant about it, be upset about it, be happy about it. So I'm a game-to-game guy. But in the long run, when I do overreact like this, I know we're still 7-4. and four. I know we should be doing better, but I know that teams who make playoffs lose about 70 games. If I came down here and, and ranted insanely about every loss we've ever had, 70 times, I'll drive myself nuts. I'll drive myself literally nuts. So I know stuff like this is going to happen, but it's frustrating, and it starts just with Nick Pavetta. That's what bothered me the most out of this baseball game, because he knows the stakes are really high for him. He has to be better. There's no doubt about it. He won't be on the team, and he won't be playing if he consistently pitches the way that he did tonight. We have to rely on our bullpen. We just watched what happened to our bullpen the other night, last night, and and our starting pitcher, our number two starting pitcher, can't even go four innings. He goes three and two-thirds, right? And his ERA is garbage. I'm using the same words to describe this in in every aspect, right? It's a joke, it's embarrassing, it's garbage, it's trash. But that's what the Phillies gave us tonight. And I, I like the off day, but at the same time, I just want them to redeem themselves. I had a feeling, and I even put out a poll. I said, oh, break out Pavetta on the bump today. How scared are you? I had a feeling, just based off of the emotion of yesterday's game to this, would I expect it to be 15-1, to and we'd have to throw a rotation guy out there? Or, not a rotation guy, a, you know, a bench guy to pitch? No. But that's where we're at. That's where we're at tonight, and it just, it is what it is. 217 pitches thrown out of the, the Phillies pitching staff today. I got nothing else for you, but I want to know your thoughts down below. Keep in mind how long this season is, right? I know that. But this can still irritate you. But coming into the season, what do we all say? Well, our pitching staff's a joke. How's our pitching staff going to hold up? We knew that coming in, and now we're seeing it, and we're all freaking out. It's kind of like me talking about how excited I am for this lineup, and I saw it produce. Whoa, I was so pumped. I said, wow, it's so nice to actually see it. We've talked about it all offseason, but now that I see it, it's great. But we've also talked about how pathetic our pitching is going to be. And now that I see it, it's making my eyes bleed. It's making my eyes bleed. So I want to know your thoughts down below on this. 
Um, you know, it, it is what it is. We're seven and four. It's our first loss series. It sucks because it's to an opponent in our division, and we should be doing better than what we are against them. But this is what it is, and it's it's early April. We got time to fix this thing, but we have to fix this thing. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Hit that thumbs up button. Whew. Come on, Phils. We got to be better.